Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Coming in with this week's Queen Sugar, it was season five, episode five. Don't care what the name of the episode was because my TV didn't give it to me. Nope. Google didn't give it to me. Nope. So that just means we're not supposed to have it. Huh. But this entire episode was dedicated to uh, Raw and Dollar, so that's going to be the title in my yeah, mind. they had to hurry up and get them married off, man, so that's why they had this Yeah, episode so it's right somebody here. pregnant, because y'all know if somebody had them shotgun weddings like that, somebody pray. Hmm. That's what they say back in the old days, back in the old church. Yup. So let's go ahead and run it. So trying to hide your fornication. <laughs> 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 so like i said this entire episode was dedicated to the wedding and whatnot and what i can say is i appreciated it but it was so not necessary but at the same time we have to realize that they were probably filming this in the middle of the, the coronavirus COVID. yeah and, you know you you may do with what you have right. so they made it very simple to the point is what it is. I have a couple of things that I want to point out. A couple of people that were missing and I want to know why. But let's go ahead and run it. So, Aunt Vi is sitting there and she's frantic because Aunt Vi got a lot going on with her. Yes, she do. Her man is out there dealing with the death of his mom, solo dolo, by mm -hmm. himself. Then you got your nephew pulling on you to find a cake. Yep. And make that for the wedding and had it ready for Same me. day. That day, I'm like... Yeah. Even Sam's Club make you give them 24, 40 hours. Yeah. <laughs> right. So she got that. And then she said, on top of that, you have the nerve to have a dress code? Like, well, I'm going to find some yellow at in my closet just right. ready to go for a wedding. So you better do uh, black and white like them ushers at church, man. You ain't never Everybody right. got some white and black up in their closet. Hmm. <laughs> so we go over and we see Hollywood. And Hollywood is really, really going through it. Yeah, like, he is. He's at the point now where he's starting to deal with his mother's final arrangements and whatnot. And he come to realize that his mom actually wanted to be cremated. Mm. And he's struggling with what a lot of people have struggled with. And I remember when my stepfather passed away. Yeah, okay, That yeah. was yeah. his wish to be cremated. But my mom wanted him to be buried. Mm -hmm. And it was a conflict because... Some people don't feel that they have closure until they see like the casket closed yeah. and the body layer lowered in the ground. And then for you know black people, most black people don't aim with the cremation thing. So I, I don't, I, what funeral is a show for black people, yeah, man. It is. Yeah. That's where we can look nice. And show our tail, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then Russia's eat some good food. Then, and then eat some good food afterwards. Somebody said. um a funeral is the only place that you can go to eat the same food that probably killed the person you just buried. <laughs> I don't think about it that way. Yeah, it's so true. That is so true. So, and Hollywood was um in a pickle because not only was he dealing with his mom, he yeah. is supposed to be the best man for Ralph Angel. But at the same time, we had another dilemma because Hollywood stopped by here. It picked up a few boxes because I told him I needed to um, send some things by him yeah. up there to the wedding. And y'all saw that box in the back of his truck yeah, that it. said Miss Lynette. Yeah. That was me. He picked it up from here <laughs> so that he can take it on down there because I had some things that I wanted to give Dollar for the wedding. But he got there too late. But she'll, she'll get it next week. So now, your, <laughs> your delivery was a decorations on the tractor. <laughs> We not doing this. Not tonight. Mm -mm. Not tonight. So we see Charlie. Charlie comes over there to the house because it's her job. I guess she was the maid of honor or whatnot. So she's getting things together for um Dollar. And I actually thought that Charlie had fell into old Charlie mode where she was going to try to make this the best event yeah. mm -hmm. ever instead of letting them do it their oh, way yeah and she was like i got some tables that i can get last minute and dollar was like charlie ain't none of that necessary but that all was a ploy to get her behind the laptop because they had a virtual bridal shower for her and i thought yeah, that, that was, was dope that it was, was so dope. fitting for yeah, that the dope. environment that we're yeah. in right now so that climate that um, bridal shower and it, and it hit home with us because that's how we, we spend do. time with our friends. Yes. It's Zoom. We it spend works, time man. With our, and we yep. be having a good day on time. Yeah, boy, they be, them Zoom calls be lit. Yeah. And 
Dollar's mom was not able to come down to the wedding. I said, why not? You could have got on Frontier Spirit. You could have flew on one of the wings or something. They did the same day. They better be lucky she was able to show up on Zoom, right? Eh? So she did show up on <laughs> Zoom, and they had a good, good time. And then I was like, why are we taking all the attention away from Dollar? And y'all asking questions about Blue and all that. Y'all asked about Blue after this bridal <laughs> show. That's just weird to me. But anyway, so... Well, um, they before all of that had happened, um, Dollar and Ralph Angel was having a conversation with Blue and really getting his input of how he felt and all that. And of course, Blue with it. Oh, he with I it. I want to yeah. see Mom and Dad and get married, and she explained us something old, something about it was out of Blue. And he was like, "I'm something Blue. I'm gonna be there at this wedding." <laughs> so now we established that, of course, Blue gonna be standing up there with his parents and whatnot. And we saw that Charlie was having a conversation with Ralph Angel because now we know that there's a great possibility that Hollywood is not going to be able to make it in time. I was like, dang, dog. So, and Ralph Angel didn't have no issues with <clears> it <throat> at all. <throat> dog, you got bigger fish to fry than mm -hmm. this wedding. I got you. You still my brother. It don't even matter. Well, still my uncle. It don't even matter. But Charlie came up with the bright idea. Why don't you just ask Micah to be your best man? He looks at you like a big brother anyway, mm -hmm. so you fall. I mean, everything would just fall right into place. <laughs> I knew place. he was going to do it. That I was, was I mean, like, it was it was for sure, sure go. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, you know, that happened. And I said, y'all got a two-for-one special with old Micah being there. Because Micah was the photographer. Yep. He was the best man. <laughs> he was the coordinator almost. Yep. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, I got you. So, here's my thing. And we're going to fast forward a little bit. No, not yet. Charlie came in there and she presented um, Dollar with a box. And it was her something old. And I said, what's in the box? Because um, yeah. Nova. You said, better not be that book. What you said, better not be that book. It better not be that book, Nova. Because I'm going to strangle you right about now. But... We saw Nova earlier in the episode. She was going through like old family photos and things like that. So I knew that something was about to come with this. Mm. At first, I thought they was just going to do like a collage of pictures or somewhere outside. Yeah. But come to find out that she had found the letter that Trudy had written. And she really was describing her love for her son, her only son. And mm -hmm. how she had prayed over him that he would one day find the same kind of love that she has for his father and i was like i, I was like that yeah was, i like that was powerful. Done. that was powerful so all those years ago she <laughs> prayed that he would find his soulmate mm -hmm. and as much as dollar and uh Ron get on our nerves yeah. they meant for each other i mean well, imagine if you was that person though that was the love that that trudy was talking about though yeah and you know that was written years ago she didn't know who it was gonna be nope and she said they tried and true love. I said, yeah. honey, you ain't tried never. And tried and true, exactly right. You ain't never they said de They definitely nothing. went through the fire. <laughs> so we started off and we get this wedding off without a hitch and whatnot. So Hollywood ended up making it. I was like, that's my dog. But I like how Hollywood did it. I was supposed to be in this position, mm -hmm. but I'm not anymore. I said, let me just fall back mm -hmm. and sit over here with my woman, enjoy the show. Let's get it on and pop. And of course, you had um, Nova and Calvin. They over there loved up. And I said, as quickly as they put this together, it was actually really cute. Country chic. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. Tractor, like I said, <laughs> my, de my decorations made it. When Hollywood made it, my decorations made it. It was the track, the decorations. <laughs> All that stuff that wrapped around that tractor, I said that. Because we were like, uh, is they going to move that tractor? I swear to God. Or just shift the wedding just like this. Just, <laughs> just shift it that way a little bit. So you can get that tractor out. Get, just just make sure when you take the pictures, Michael, make sure you don't catch the tractor, Michael. Get Tomato out of there. <laughs> but you know Ralph Angel and Ralph Angel will go right over by the tractor and, and take pictures, Mike. Yep. <laughs> but let me tell you, as soon as I saw Ralph Angel with that white on, I said, Yep, all the way back. Can't nobody. I was season one, episode one. Can't nobody wear white like yep. Ralph Angel wears that day on white. I said, Ralph Angel, you got a day off of work real fast. You just started that job. Yeah. <laughs> you a day off. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, you still on that 90 day probation, probationary period, Mike. So, let's talk about a few <laughs> things within the wedding that still has me questioning whether or not I'm forgetting some things or not. So when it came time to give Dollar away, they did what everybody's been doing these days, Zoom. Yep. So Dollar's mom was able to give her away via Zoom. 
Where's Dollar's dad? Yeah. Uh, did we miss something? Like, uh, seriously. Yeah, let's we not remember it. Maybe last season it's been so long since it's been back on and something happened. They got a divorce, but I don't I mean, even know. if he got a divorce, that's still your child. Yeah. So I'm know. like, I'm sitting here like, what the hell? Then number two. Where Mr. Prosper at? Oh, I already told you, Mr. Prosper said, I'm gonna go over here and eat Vi's cooking for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm going but home. after that, I'm going back home. I ain't fitting being out there with y'all at that wedding. Because he already know how black folk act at weddings, too. Oh, yeah, super spread event. Uh-huh. Yep. So everybody, most people had their masks on, so it, it and was... And they were social but, distancing. They, to hell, it was only three <laughs> of them <now. laughs> So... But why they had the sofa and all that stuff out there? They ain't had nothing else, man. Well, you know, black people always got the metal chairs. Yeah, so they had the metal, metal folding chairs, man. They could have brought them out. But we talking about Ron Dollar. Don't even worry about it, like Mike Bieber said. Don't even matter. So, um... Got a couch like came from Charlie House. Stop. <laughs> no. Yeah. <it> <laughs> yeah. It, it so, we, we got the wedding <laughs> going on. We got the reception going on. And everything was just real cute. It was a good time for the family just to yeah. get together and just run it. And we look over there at Calvin. And Calvin asked Nova, do you ever see us getting married? Like... And she was like a deer in here. Like she was like, he said, because I don't want to put my hopes and my wishes and my dreams into a reality that's never going to happen. So do you ever see us getting married? And I'm like, when over, do you know? Because hmm. I don't know if it's not with that. Yeah. But she with, verbalized that too. Yeah. She? Yeah. But with Calvin, things, things change. Yeah. Hmm. But let me see. back up a little bit. Because me and Stanley was over here laughing our tails off. When Charlie and Ralph Angel was having that brother and sister moment about who could race and who could oh. run the fastest. And she was <laughs> picking on him about his little drumstick legs. And they decided to take it out to the field. I don't know what kind of running yeah, Ralph I, Angel was yeah. doing. But all he yeah. was doing was on the Oh, was go. <laughs> but he won't going nowhere. He was running this way, that way. I said, "Are you drunk running? Like, what's happening here, Ralph?" Angel? He barely beat Charlie. Barely. And she, barely. She let him win, cause that's what sisters do. We let the brothers win. But anyway, he did. So, what else had happened? Uh, so Hollywood ended up giving the best man speech as he should have, and mm -hmm. he was explaining how. Love is precious and being with the one that you love. Mm -hmm. And after he gave that speech, he sat down by Vi and he told Vi, he said, You all I got now. All I, got. I was like, Wow. And yeah. she was like, And I'm all, all you, you need. need. I got you. And I was like, yeah. Ain't that a beautiful thing? Yep. When somebody just got you. Yep. That's that that's that power of that black love, man. I'm trying to tell you. It's yeah. contagious. Yeah, man. Yeah. But at the same time, not everybody meant to get married, though. We're not going to do that. But we're not going down that path, though. Yeah. But marriage is a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. if it is for you. Yeah, it will be. Yeah. But then, we saw Nova. And I and this can go a couple of ways. I didn't. I interpreted it a couple of ways. Nova went out there to her mom's grave site, and she started speaking with her mom. And she told her mom, I know <clears throat> that you were here today. I can feel your presence all around. And I know your son felt it, mm -hmm. too. He is so happy and I'm so happy and blah, blah, blah. But then she started asking her mom for guidance. She said, I really need your guidance right now. And I said, is she asking for guidance in reference to love? Yeah. Or is she asking for guidance in reference to this yeah. whole pandemic and how it's changing people and how mentally it, you're just heavy. Like, And they were in that stage where it's like, Okay, we've been in it a few months. We're learning to live with the new normal, but this kid ain't right. Yeah, so. I actually thought she was talking about what Calvin was talking about marriage. Like, my, I need guidance for you know. Yeah, because marriage is a big commitment, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> big commitment. But it's wonderful though, man. <clears throat> we got. Wouldn't blessed. change it to the. Wouldn't change it for the world, man. Uh, we got blessed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Cause people that don't got married all around us. I tell anybody, man, marry your best friend. Bingo. Bound. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla, Holla. boom.